everyone it's Olivia from Girly Bunches and in this week's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little spider even if you don't like spiders like me you probably agree he's quite cute and he's got these fabulous sticky out legs and I can just imagine him hanging down from the ceiling maybe on a on a thread and uh, to scare your Halloween visitors or maybe even just on the um, on the back of the chair to make someone jump Ooh. okay so he's got these great boggle eyes and I've chosen to use different size ones because I think that makes him look extra cute but you can do whatever you want and um, yeah I'm just going to show you how I made him so for this video tutorial I'm going to be using some very un spider colour yarn because I did use a grey I've already filmed this once and realised that you can't see a single stitch so um, I'm going to use this colour and I'm using a double knit and I use a 4 mil hook for my double knit yarn because that's what the wrapper recommends I use and to get started what we're going to do is we're going to do a magic loop and into that magic loop I'm going to do 12 trebles now you may know them as double crochet but I'm British so we call that a treble so I'm just going to do three chains to replace my first treble and then do 11 trebles into that same loop. So I'm just doing my last one there, if I've counted correctly. So I'll just get some more yarn out and then just double check my stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then just to finish that off, I just pull that tail and that tightens up that loop in the middle and then I just do a slip stitch into the top of that third chain that we did to start off the round and there's the body of the spider done and I can show you but it'll be difficult for you to see because I've made him in black yarn but that's that's the middle bit so I've done it all in black but you could do that as a red dot maybe that would make him more scary <laughs> and then into each one of those stitches that we've done on the previous round we're going to do two trebles so we'll end up with 24 stitches at the end so like uh, like we did to start off with we're just going to do three chains to replace our first treble and into that same space we're going to do a treble I'll put a link in the description box down below to all my basic stitches that I've shown you how to do and to do this magic loop if, you've, if you're not familiar on how to do them and then into the next stitch we're going to do two trebles. Apologies if you can hear banging outside, I think there's somebody working some construction work outside. <laughs> just when I want to film a video of course. <laughs> Let's just pull that loop a bit tighter, there we go. And so what we're going to do is repeat that all the way around, two trebles into the top of each of those stitches from the previous round and I'll get back when we get to here and that should be 24 stitches. Okay, so all the way around, just got the last two to do, and that will finish that round off. And again, just going to do a slip stitch into the top of that third chain, just to close that round. And there we go. First two rounds of the work done, and that's the body pretty well much done. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to give our spider a little head so we can put some eyeballs on him. And what we're going to do, and I can't see it at all, can you? So I'm sorry about that, so I'll have to show you. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to do a semicircle at the top of wherever you finish. So obviously it doesn't matter because it's a circle. <laughs> That's quite obvious, Olivia. <laughs> sorry about that. But what we're going to do is we're going to skip two stitches and into that third stitch along we're going to do seven trebles. Okay, so the same stitch that we've been doing all along and into that we're going to do seven. Now, depending on your yarn or your tension, you may find doing nine might help, but it doesn't matter. You can do as many as you like, so long as it doesn't curl up in either direction or um, and make sure it's an odd number. It will be best if it's an odd number. So we've, what have I got there? I've lost count now. So that's four... five six I think seven's going to be plenty for this yeah seven's going to be fine and then what we do again we're just going to skip those two stitches there 
that one and that one and just do a slip stitch into the, the main body. So there we go, there's his body and there's his head. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a slip stitch in there into the next stitch along and then we're going to start doing his legs. So we're going to chain eight Okay, chained eight. I'm just going to pinch that bit there. And I'm going to do two more chains and into that stitch that I've pinched. So that'll be that, that third chain basically there from the hook. One, two, three. I'm going to do two half trebles. And what that does is it gives him a nice little foot at the end of his leg. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. If you think this is a bit fiddly, then you could use pipe cleaners for legs. but I think it looks cute if you just do this and so we've got our essentially three half trebles in the end there and then we're just going to slip stitch in each of those chains back towards the body if you find the slip stitch a bit fiddly then do a double you may know that as a single but whatever you want to do just to th thicken up his leg a little bit and to give it a little bit more firmness to it and you do whatever you want to do, you can make the legs much longer if you wanted to or even shorter, it's entirely up to you. This is just what I've done and I'm just showing you what I did. So I'm slip stitching all the way back to the body and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch on the body and again, so that's two slip stitches and then I'm going to start making the next leg exactly the same way. So eight chains, I'm going to pinch that last one, two more and then do two half trebles in the end and see what I'm doing. <laughs> there we go, like that and then again I'm going to slip stitch my way back down towards the body and repeat that so that he has four legs on one side. So back towards the body, I'm going to do two slip stitches and then repeat the leg and I'm going to come back when I've got four on one side. Okay, so I've done my fourth leg there and I'm just going to do my slip stitch to attach that to the body. And now I'm going to do two more slip stitches. So in between these we've got one down, one to lock it down to the body and then one spacer and then I've done this one I've, I've locked it down to the body and I'm going to do two spaces because what we want to do is we want to get across that back part like that and now we want to start making the legs again on this side with the same spacing that we did have on this side so I'm going to come back when I get to here after making the four legs because it's exactly the same as I did on this side okay Okay, so I've just done my final leg and I'm just going to slip stitch down onto the body part just to lock that leg down. And uh, here you go. He doesn't look much like a spider in cream, does he? <laughs> he really doesn't. Um, yeah, just doesn't seem right. Looks more like a beetle. Anyway, he's got eight legs, so he must be a spider. <laughs> okay, so once you've done the leg part, all you're going to do now is just continue doing those slip stitches until you get back round to the beginning again. On the edge and the reason I'm doing that is just because it finishes off the edge and firms up the edge a bit so I'm just doing like I did a nice slip stitch just all the way around the edge nice and simple nothing fancy just finishing them off nicely 
as you can see and it stops them from curling up I think if you do that and I think we've got that around to the beginning again yet so what I'm going to do is just find my beginning part just there just do one more final slip stitch and then I can finish off my yarn just clip it off and fasten off and there we go there is my not so creepy <laughs> well it is quite creepy isn't it because it doesn't look right in the wrong colour and I'm just, I've got some ends there so you'd sew your ends in which you're going to pretend that I did and I'm just going to get a couple of boggle eyes here just to uh, give him the full effect of the eyes there we go <laughs> you can just stick those down I just used some um, of this craft glossy accents because I didn't have um, I, I tried fabric glue but it didn't work for me because this is sort of these are plastic I think some of them you can get um, with sticky back bits can't you I don't know see it's all quite shiny oh I've dropped his eye um yeah so I just used a, a glue on there just to stick his eyeballs down <laughs> that sounds mean doesn't it <laughs> but here he is here's his cousin who looks uh, looks a bit more creepy in the in the black but uh, you know what it's your Halloween you can do in whatever colour maybe in uh, purple and orange might be quite cool you could do I don't know if I mentioned I can't remember now I might have done I've filmed this video quite a few times <laughs> there's been lots of noises outside and I used the wrong colour yarn anyway we're at the end you could do a, a different coloured spot in the middle that might be quite good if you did a black um, a black body or grey body with a red dot in the middle or white you know just mix it up that'll look cool but really I think he's really cute like this so yeah that was my spider crochet spider video I really hope you enjoyed it I'd love a thumbs up if you did if I get my thumb to focus probably not and um, yeah if you haven't subscribed I'd love it if you did just hit that subscribe button I think there's one just up there I'm, I think it I think it's a subscribe button anyway hit that button up there that'll take you to the subscribe button and uh, yeah check out my videos once a week I've got lots of videos you can watch in my backlog and um, yeah thanks for watching and I'll be back very soon thanks for watching bye